hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're taking a closer look at the temptations that people have to see if we can figure out why we're tempted to commit sins. People generally commit sins because they're after something they want, and they sin in an attempt to get it. So we're looking over the things people want. Today, security. Again, let's start with the definition of this word. Definition 1a. Freedom from danger. Safety. Now, there are many things that a person can be in danger of. Sickness, poverty, misery, even injury or death. All of these are dangers, and the desire to be free from any or all of them is a desire for security. Even the desire to be free from temptation is in a certain sense a desire for security. Obviously, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. There are, however, hidden dangers within the desire to escape from danger. A person obsessed with security might spend too much time or money on a means of protecting themselves to the point where they refuse to help others. They might completely hide themselves away from the world out of fear and never make any progress in the spiritual life. However, the typical person obsessed with security will probably not be so obvious about it. Other people who are obsessed with security become compulsive savers, always saving more and more money for a rainy day which may or may not ever come. Others become pack rats, collecting various machine parts, tools, or even weapons that they think might be useful down the road. Still others try to shift the responsibility for their safety onto other people, or even advocate for government policies that they think will make them safer. Speaking of governments, rulers aren't free from fear either. Remember how the irrational fear of King Saul caused him to try to kill David numerous times, even though David never did anything to harm him? There are many ways for people to demonstrate an obsession with security. However, the problem with virtually all of them is that they stem from a tendency to take action based on fear rather than faith. While, yes, people can experience great suffering and loss in this life, it's important to keep the words of Jesus in mind. And fear ye not them that kill the body, and are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him that can destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew 10.28 So often in this life we're nervous about so many possible unpleasant eventualities, and certainly God never promised life would always be pleasant. It's not wrong to put off unpleasant times through preparation, but... And the Lord answering said to her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful, and art troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Luke 10, 41-42a As people, we can suffer from poverty, hunger, thirst, sickness, injuries, even death. But if we remain in a state of grace, on good terms with God, all of that suffering will eventually end. That's by far the most important thing, and that is the kind of security that we should be focusing on most the security of our souls. Next time, The Temptation of Riches. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.